Um, welcome to Sunsight by Clearly Energy. My name is Veronique. We, our aim is to bring the benefits of solar to daily finances. So let's meet Jane. Jane's a homeowner who has installed solar panels on her home. Now, like most of us, Jane loves a new toy, and so at first, she's gonna log in very frequently into her installer's website or the Enphase app to check her production. But over time, those logins are going to decline, and she, become, she becomes gradually disconnected from her solar. Now, that's not a good thing for the solar installer, because word of mouth referrals are by far the best and cheapest forms of new customer acquisition. So our goal is to strengthen Jane's connection to her solar and to strengthen the solar installer's connection to Jane. How? Well, there's one thing that Jane is always going to care about, and that's dollars. So what we've built is an API that puts the value of solar where Jane is much more likely to see it. What we've built is an ability to pull in green button data from the utilities, solar production from solar companies or from APIs out there, utility tariff, aggregate it all and serve it back to Mint.com, Pocketsmith, or 600 other different expense management systems. Um, now from Jane's standpoint, this is a great solution because this is, these are systems that she logs into essentially religiously several times a week, right? So this is not yet another app or website to go log into. This is something that she goes to already um, on a very regular basis. So here's a demo of the solution. On our site, we've created um, a login. And so I'm gonna start by showing you how to manually upload a file into Pocketsmith, which was our expense management system partner in building this MVP. So on our site, you enter your utility account number, your solar information, um, you update that. Now when you click the download button here, you create a file, but you're essentially mimicking the process that Mint does when they request data. They send a request for authentication, if validated, that comes back with, in this case, 30 days worth of financially formatted data. So now on the Pocketsmith side of things, you go in and you create an account, which we'll call Sunsite, but could be called Solar City, anybody else. Um, set up an opening balance and go and retrieve that file that we've just created, right? Um, and so, ta-da magic, you see that since the beginning of April, you've actually made 189 or so dollars from your solar array. Now if we go to the Pocketsmith dashboard, you can see the breakdown of the day-to-day -day credit value. So on a sunny day, you're making $7, and on a crummy rainy day, well, you're making less than two. So this was a manual solution. The fully automated seamless solution that we're aiming for is still in test in Pocketsmith sandbox, but here's what it looks like. Just like Mint, you go in and you put in your provider. Um, you put in your credentials for that provider. Here we're gonna pull in San Diego Gas and Electric data. You connect and by magic, your utility costs come in. So now we have two streams of data, right? We've got SunSite and we've got the costs. So now you can start leveraging the power of these platforms. Here we're gonna set a budget for ourselves, $120 a month for the utility side of things. And that you can see, for example, that in April we went eh, $5 over budget or so. So why do we think this is such a valuable solution? Well, for starters, people are asking for us for it, which is always the best kind of testimonial, and we added to that a quote by a SunShot team member. Next, are, there's a very clear um, benefit to working with these systems. So according to public data by the local, local utility, the average pg and &E user logs in to their system every other month at best, and that's typically to check a bill, not to check per consumption. If you contrast that with Pocketsmith, the average Pocketsmith user logs in over twice a week. So there's better than an order of magnitude benefit in pushing this data into where people will see it. Okay, so the benefits are threefold. The first is the marketing and branding benefit for the solar company that I've already mentioned. The second is the customer engagement and customer management benefit. It's been shown that when customers see their utility costs on an ongoing basis, and especially cost spikes, 
they are a whole lot less likely to call customer, man customer service to complain. Same goes on the solar side. If you've been promised to save $100 a month and you can actually see that happening, you're not gonna call to complain that you're not getting the accrued benefit. And third is the energy efficiency aspect. People that see their energy costs um, are more likely to proactively manage their energy footprint. So here we are. Jane wins, the solar company wins, the utility wins, and the environment benefits. So what is the business model? We call it a B2B solution with B2C benefits. Our goal is to white label the solution and sell it to the larger solar companies and the utilities with a setup fee and a per user um, subscription fee. If you look at the addressable market, we're starting with the 400,000 homes with solar. There are about 50 million US homes with smart meters. Eventually that will grow to the 130 US homes that have electricity. Um, and eventually you can see that growing to gas, water, and things that are actually very relevant um, today. So our, our two-year target is to acquire three quarters of a percent of US electric meters for a revenue, projected revenue of slightly over a million dollars or so. We set up pilot programs on the solar and the utility side with a handful of, of companies and, and, um, and groupings. And so finally, okay, so then the, where, how would the, the Sunshot funding help us get from, from A to B? Um, we still have some development to finalize to get a fully standalone production app or production service. There are some upfront costs that we have in working with some key data intermediaries in the financial data space. Um, and then beyond that, it's ramping up a sales team and setting up a whole bunch of demos of the solution. So meet uh, the team behind this. Brandon is our software architect. He makes sure that the solution is fully scalable. Um, as a service, he was previously the CTO at a firm that provided solutions to conferences. This is Norma Jean. Um, she knows a thing or two about electricity. She led um, Wells, Far Wells Fargo's entry into the electricity markets. And I'm Veronique. Um, previously, I was the, the global head of natural gas, renewables, and carbon for Thomson Reuters. Um, and I ended up there because Thomson Reuters acquired a company by the name of Point Carbon that I helped start. So she's the business development brain and I try to make sure that the whole, the whole thing works. Thank you very much. This was Sunsight, bringing the benefits of solar to everyday finances. Uh, I think this is a really cool idea. I love the idea of figuring out how to improve engagement with solar because so much of solar revenue comes from referral revenue, as you mentioned. So I love the idea. The big question in my mind is why wouldn't um, Solar City build an integration with Mint directly? So we think there's actually very low probability of that happening, either on the solar side or on the utility side. If it was just Mint, then yes, maybe. Um, but there are actually over 500 different integrations of financial systems. If you think of it, every bank has a system that allows you to pull in fees from your credit cards and your mortgage and everything else. So it's a much more complex landscape than the sort of thing we all do, which is go to, go to and think of Mint. And from having spent the past couple months talking to these financial data, let's call them financial data intermediaries, they don't have a huge appetite in interconnecting with every, they see the value. They, they see the value and the potential in bringing new data to their platform. It requires some tweaks on their end, which is why there's some cost involved for, involved for us. Um, but they see the value, but they also have zero appetite in going and essentially individually connecting to all of these different, different companies. So the argument we've made, we made to them is we'll provide you the pipe. Um, we'll do the nuts and bolts of hooking people to the pipe um, and in exchange, you work with us. Okay, thanks. Uh, so what percentage of uh, Mint or Pocket Smith customers do you think are gonna have solar? That's a, I don't know, I mean, it, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I think that um, 
and it's in one that we don't actually have a number to give you. Um, you know, there's a small percentage of customers across the U.S. that actually have solar relative to the larger scale of things. Um, and one can argue that you imagine that those who have solars are a bit more tech savvy in the sense of like evaluating options and managing their expenses. So um, I don't have a, a quote to give you in terms of a number, but I think that the number would be pretty significant in terms of like seeing folks seeing the value of this. In addition, I also see this as a value for Mint or others acquiring new users through those who have solar in their, on their platform. You know, on their homes. So, so what's yeah. uh, what were your assumptions to reach to that one million dollar? It's to go to the bigger pie, and so this is this is in addition to the solar homes. There is the you know kind of 130 million um, homes that are out there, and so we that uh, three quarter of a percent is off of that uh, 130 million homes. But if I I do think that the, the solar customers are, are are actually a good starting point because I think they're particularly sensitive to the value that their solar brings and at the same time not seeing their value. And it doesn't take any way, anything away from what Enphase has built, but people are promised savings, right? That's the whole premise for the solar installation. But then it's very hard to reconcile that with what they see on their electric bill because your electric bill is not gonna break it down for them. So by, by having a very simple way for them to connect both the, the costs and sort of, you know, the credits and debits to talk about things in financial terms, I think they make, that's why they make such an interesting initial target, um, target audience to, you know, work, work things out. But how, how does it, so everything we've seen so far is focused on lowering the cost of solar. Mm -hmm. How does this lower the cost of solar? So in addition, so part of the marketing benefit, one of the avenues that solar installers use is a referral friend kind of aspect. And so they cling on to that. It has the largest and the highest kind of conversion rate. So keeping a customer engaged over time continues that positive effect and increases the likelihood of the referral value. Sorry. Once you're in a system, say like Mint, there's obviously lots of ways they have to break down your, your cost and benefits, but you know, you're gonna get a weekly email that will say, hey, you know, Solar City, not to name them, but you just made $35. That's that has great value. And that has great value that can that can be leveraged, you know, by hey, you know, for this to a friend, post this to Facebook, what it whatever, whatever tricks, right? But I think you get the idea. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.